Yo, what's going on, y'all boys? But really great or Ray J with it floats your boat. Yeah, sir. In today's video, man, I'm giving you guys another banger, another smacker on Black Ops 4. And these are seven tips to play better slash improve in Black Ops 4. Now, basically, this video is gonna give you seven tips to improve in Black Ops 4. So sit back and relax and enjoy the video. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you're here because you're struggling in the Call of Duty. You want to get better. You want to increase your KD ratio. You want to get a lot of kills. You just want to do good in Call of Duty in general. Or you could be transferring from a different game. You want to try out Call of Duty for the first time. Well, I'm here to give you guys the best tips to play better slash improve in Black Ops 4. These tips will definitely help you become a god player, a pro player, whatever you want to do, man. These tips are definitely going to help you out in the long run, in the short term time. Hey, I'm here to help you. You're here to help me. Let's go. Now, I've been playing Call of Duty for a long time. I've been playing Call of Duty for years. I've been, I started Call of Duty in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And now I went back into the older Call of Duties to try those out and see how those played out. But my favorite one was Modern Warfare 2. That's my favorite one still to this day is Modern Warfare 2. And I've been playing Call of Duty ever since then. I've been addicted to it. So I definitely know a, a thing or two about Call of Duty. I'm not going to say I'm the greatest player in the world, but I'm a pretty solid player. I know a couple things to help you get to a solid uh, status as well. So we're going to go ahead and start this off with tip number one. Now, tip number one is basically going to be your settings. Now, your settings are do play uh they do play a huge role in your success in call of duty um you have your controller settings and you also have your audio settings now we're gonna go over here to our controller settings we're gonna take a look at some controller settings now these are my controller settings um they're not gonna be the exact same as yours but if you do want to try mine definitely feel free uh my look sensitivity horizontal is a four my look uh look sensitivity vertical is a four as well but um sometimes i put it up higher i put it up to maybe like a seven or six that's like most of the time whenever i'm sniping or i just feel like rushing and i need a high sensitivity this is usually what i do i sometimes switch it up sometimes i keep it at four but most of the time i'll just put it up six seven whenever i feel like rushing put it up to a four whenever i just feel like using a red gun or just or i'm just chilling you know what i'm saying but um, target assist, you definitely want to have that on aim assist on controller vibration off. Now, I noticed that a, a lot of people do play with controller vibration on. I mean, it's totally up to you. But uh, in my opinion, whenever I play with controller vibration on, it definitely throws off my aim because the controller is shaking and it definitely runs out your battery quicker. But I mean, that doesn't really matter to you guys. But controller vibration, yeah, I definitely play with that off. Playing with it off definitely helped my gameplay in general back in older Call of Duties. It really, really did help. So I always play with it off. I never turn it back on or anything like that. So that's basically what I, what I do for controller, vi controller vibration. I'm sorry. God dang, I'm retarded. <laughs> anyway, freaking stick layout. We got it in default. But in layout, I have it on tactical and I have the R1 L1 as flip. Now, I play on tactical because I've been playing on tactical for a long time. And I've always find like I find a great way to play. And that's always with tactical. Uh, basically, tactical allows me to drop shot, uh, jump shot and still be aiming. Now, basically how I do that is that I play claw. I don't know if you guys know, but I play Claw. That's usually what I do. I don't have a scuff controller. I have a regular controller, and I play Claw. Now, if you don't play Claw, you can definitely switch yours up to Bumper Jumper or Bumper Jumper Tactical. Uh, that's usually what people do. Some, sometimes people go to Bumper Jumper, or they'll do Stick and Move. Stick and Move is also a great one. So it's Stick and Move, Bumper Jumper Tactical, and also Tactical. So you can try out either one of those three. Uh, it's definitely up to you, but I recommend uh, Tactical because it's nice and easy. I just play Claw. If you don't want to play Claw, then switch it to Bumper Jumper or Stick and Move. That's basically what I do. Now, as for the flip part, you don't have to have it as flip, but in my opinion, flip is better because you have a uh, faster reaction time to aiming in and shooting because you're actually pressing buttons. You're not actually pressing down the triggers. The triggers, you actually, you can see it go down and like the time from that going down to actually pressing the R1 and L1 is extremely less. So definitely go with flip. Flip is definitely a must whenever you're uh, playing in Call of Duty. And um, that's basically it for the controller settings. Now we're gonna go over here to the audio settings. Now, audio really does play a good role in your gameplay as well. Uh, you don't want to have the music blasting in your ear. You definitely don't want that. Now you want to have your audio settings where you can hear enemies' footsteps, you can hear enemies reloading around the corner or whatever. You want to be able to hear everything that goes around in the map, like when you're playing the game. You want to hear your enemies. Now I have the massive volume on 10, but we're going to work around on the other stuff. Now massive volume on 10, we have the audio presets. Yours is going to be on Treyarch Mix. Now if you want to change that to Treyarch Mix, go to Super Crunch. That's your best bet. Super Crunch is basically a uh, auto preset where they'll make the the uh the enemy's footsteps they're them reloading they'll make it higher 
a higher volume so you can definitely hear that through your headsets so super crunch is definitely a must for the audio presets now for advanced volume we got the voice volume on four music volume on four sound effects put that on 10 because those are the effects that like that those are the effects that are like the footsteps and reloading everything those are basically what the sound effects are your gun sounds things like that okay and the cinematic volume you're gonna have that on four okay multiplayer dialogue have it on controller sound i turn it off if you want to have your controller sound on i mean you can i mean it's not really that much of a difference but i have my off i don't want it to play a sound while i'm recording with my mic or anything you know what i mean and i'll definitely have my sub subtitles on so i can without hearing it i can read what's going on like recon just put out his uh his dart his sensor dart or whatever things like that i like to read so those are basically re really it for all the settings all right now like I said, these settings should definitely help you uh, improve in Call of Duty, like all in one. These settings are perfect. Those controller settings and auto settings will definitely help you 100%. Now, the next thing we'll talk about are classes. Now, classes really do play a huge role, a huge, huge role in you doing good in Call of Duty. Now, I see a lot of people that play Call of Duty and they have a, uh, they have a class set up which is extremely garbage um they'll have a class set up where they have a, a weird scope they have an attachment that doesn't even matter on a certain gun like the like let's let, let's get an example um sometimes people will put an optic on a, a gun that has perfect iron sight, like the icr in my opinion the icr has a a beautiful iron sight there's nothing wrong with it it's very clear very you, there's nothing in the way the icr has a great iron sight that's my opinion but some people put red dot but i mean it's all per personal preference so i'm not gonna like debate on it you know what i mean it's all personal preference but um that's basically what I really what I mean you want to have the best attachments you want to use the best guns you want to use the best perks don't use a perk that's that's not really needed like uh team link there's a perk uh perk three team link see friendly teammates through walls and reveal a fog of world circle around you and your teammates now see that doesn't really in my opinion it doesn't really help you it just it just shows you where your teammates are at through the wall that's really all it is uh, things like that don't use those perks use perks like dead silence that can silence your footsteps uh, Use ghosts which can take you off the map things like that scavenger which gives you more ammo things like that use perks like that Don't use any perks that doesn't really help you in your gameplay or anything like that. It's just pointless you know what I mean, so yeah best class setups are a definite must uh, Whenever you're making your classes and trying to be good at Call of Duty period just class setups are a definite must all right now for the third uh, third tip, we have score streak setup. Now score streak setup, they're not a huge huge role, but they do help a little bit. Um, if you're start just starting out in Call of Duty, you're not that good at Call of Duty. You can't get streaks like good. Your best bet is just run UAV and counter UAV. Be that support player. There's nothing wrong with being a support player. It gains you XP and you helping out your team towards a win. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, UAV counter UAV. Um, just run low score streaks. Don't run any like super high ones because you know you're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get the game. So UAV, counter UAV, uh, you can run an RCXD, a Dart, Care Package, things like that. You don't need anything that's, that costs like the highest, uh, what's the highest, it's like it's Gunship, I believe. Gunship is probably the high one, or Strike Team, is that a Strike Team or Gunship, one of those. But yeah, definitely, definitely um, use UAV, counter UAV, or RCXD, Dart, Care Package, things like that. Just use something low, don't, you don't need anything that's super high, all right? Now, as for the fourth tip, now we're basically gonna be talking about some gameplay here, not actually in the game, all right? Now, the fourth tip is gonna be ADS around corner, which is aiming down sights around corners. Now, this is not an advanced movement Call of Duty. This is definitely not a uh, advanced warfare or Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, and, and there's nothing like that, all right? There's straight boots on the ground, and boots on the ground is probably my favorite type of, of Call of Duty. So I, I don't like the jetpacks that, that good. I mean, it's all right, but it's just not me. But ADS around corners definitely do that. Now this Call of Duty is pretty pretty fast paced. Um, you can you can be running around the corner and get shot instantly. So you never know where anybody's at. Always aim your aim down the sights whenever you go around the corner, so you can catch that opponent off guard. Right? It's way better to catch somebody off guard than to just than to just be running but while not knowing what's going on. Right? Always catch your opponent off guard. Have your have your iron sights ready to go, ready to fire, so you win that gunfight and on to the next. You know what I mean? Get your score streaks, things like that. Help your team win, get the XP, things like that. All right. So aiming down, aim down the sights around the corners really do help. Um, I can't stress that enough. So definitely do that. All right. Now, as for the fifth tip, uh, a lot of people, uh, actually a lot, a lot of people don't realize how important this tip is and this tip is to pay attention to your mini map now basically your mini map is always there for you unless you're playing hardcore your mini map is always there for you your mini map is basically everything that's going on in the game it shows you where your teammates are at it shows you where enemies are at it shows you where you're at i mean it gives you basically the map it 
it's like a wall hack in my opinion it's like a wall hack it's a free wall hack that they're giving you man uh the mini map tells you where your teammates at enemies um and if you look if you pay attention to your mini map you gotta think smart now whenever you pay attention to your mini map if you see your teammates all on one side of the map and you don't see anything on the other side of the map what does that tell you that honestly tells you that the enemies are basically on the other side of the map or where your teammates are not like currently not uh located you know what i mean so enemies are definitely gonna be in places that your teammates are not located so therefore if you're gonna go into an area that's where your teammates all the way across the map there's people are near you 100 there's gonna be people near you or coming near you in a couple seconds like you have to be ready you have to be cautious so definitely pay attention to your mini map and whenever your teammates calling a uav or you calling a uav a uav is definitely going to show up uh all the enemies on the map unless they have ghosts but if they don't have suppressor on their weapon as soon as they fire they're going to show up on the mini map okay so as soon as the enemy fires on uh without suppressor they're going to show up on the mini map you know where they're at you know where they're located you just got to be careful to take them out quickly as possible you know what i'm saying so that's basically what that mini map is for that mini map is probably the number one thing i can give you in improving your game in call of duty i've always used mini map from day one mini map is the best thing I, I i spend most of my time looking up at the top corner looking at the mini map yeah i don't know if you guys paid attention to any of my gameplays whenever i have my webcam i'm always like taking a glance at the top right top left corner looking at the mini map that's basically what i'm doing i'm always looking at the mini map take a quick glance you don't have to stare at it just take like a quick glance at it see where those red dots are at all right now as for the next tip which is basically the last tip it's it's really just stay away from the middle of the map um why would I go say that's the last step? But just stay away from the middle of the map. Now, if you're not that good at the game, being in the middle of the map can be very hectic for you. Middle of the map is where all the action is at. If you don't want to die, yeah, definitely stay away from the middle of the map. If you go into the middle of the map, you can definitely get shot from the side. You can get shot from the front. You can shot, get shot from behind. The middle of the map is always hectic, okay? Now, if you're playing domination, you want to go into the middle of the map, you want to cap that B flag. Sure, you can do that. Go ahead and cap the B flag, do whatever you got to do, win that game. But as soon as you do that, move. You know what I'm saying? Go go on the outskirts of the map. Don't go like all the way on the outskirts of the map where there's nobody there. But you can go on the sides of the map where there's a little action. You can have enough cover to keep yourself keep yourself occupied. Uh, don't get shot in the back or the side or anything like that. That's basically what I do. I don't usually run into the middle of the map like that. Unless I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling real ballsy. And I'm running that SMG or something. Then I'll get right. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to get right, baby. But other than that, yeah, just stay away from the middle of the map. Middle of the map is not that friendly. Um that's that's a great tip that i can give you guys now as for the last tip it's just play smart that's really it just just play smart um now as like what i mean in play smart is by if you're in a gunfight choose your gunfights wildly if you're in a gunfight you see a guy all across the map he has a sniper you have an smg and he's all the way across the map who do you think is going to win that fight the, the sniper is 100 percent going to win that fight you have a whole smg all the way across the map he has a scope that can destroy you a sniper one bullet all he needs is that one lucky shot to take you out and you're done you are done that's really it man all right but like i said yeah play smart this bitch is the last tip don't don't do anything dumb choose your fight choose your gunfights wisely reload uh heal all the time as soon as you get hit heal i'm always tapping the the left uh left trigger the heal i'm always healing always as soon as i get hit i'm tap i'm spamming that thing baby I'm spamming it all right but anyway those are basically the seven tips that I have for you guys to improve slash get better in uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I hope you guys did enjoy these tips. If you guys use these tips, please drop a like. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Turn on those post notifications. It's your boy, Rady Great. Stay blessed, Rady Great. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay easy.